Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the new retro Spider-Man wave, sort of. It's not really a whole wave, is it? Kind of is. Cyborg Spider-Man. Uh, thanks to the person who sent this to me after I said I couldn't find one. I totally appreciate it. Don't want to put your name out there because I didn't ask ahead of time and that would be bad. But uh, thanks to you very much, very much appreciated. Okay, so this guy is a pretty good figure. There's a lot of things that are really good about it. A couple things that are definitely a problem, but I mean, that's always going to be the case. But this is a review, so that's why we talk about the good and the bad. That way you know what you're buying and, and you won't be disappointed when you buy it or you'll make a better decision because of the information you have. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about six and a half inches, which makes him pretty close to, let's say, 16 and a half centimeters. We've seen almost all of these parts before. I think there's only a handful of new bits here and there, so that's fine. I do think it's a really good selection of parts for this figure. Uh, I don't really have any issue with the proportions. The robot arm's a little beefy, but I think that's kind of okay. Doesn't really bother me. And here's the thing that I thought was pretty important. There's a lot of painted red on here and it blends almost flawlessly with the molded red. Molded red, painted red, it's almost impossible to tell if you don't actually look for it. So they did a really good job with that. Of course, the blue is painted in some places as well and that blends very nicely in with the molded blue. They did a really good job in the execution department in a lot of ways. We still have red pins though, which is very irritating. And we have some other issues like the spider logo on the back. It's like they knew what to do for the center part and then the legs are just totally transparent, not very well executed. So that's kind of a bummer. There's no wash or anything on the robot arm, which would make a huge difference on this very light marbly plastic that would make it look a lot better. Uh, but generally the spider webbing is painted pretty well this thing over here is nice and white because it's a separate piece and then for the head they did a pretty good job i do think the uh, location of the red eye thingy is kind of weird i don't feel like that's where his eye would be and they missed the paint for the stitching but otherwise it's pretty good he does have really big spider eyes and that doesn't really suit this design that should be more of like the 90s spider-man with the smaller eyes but it's still okay. They did a good enough job that I think it'll get the job done. So aesthetically speaking, I think it's pretty solid. Definitely a few step backs or missteps here and there, but pretty good overall. I will give it an eight out of 10. As far as accessories go, we don't have a ton. We have one alternate hand for his right side, which is a thwip hand. And then we get one of the web pieces that we've seen before with the triangle shape on it, which I still don't like or understand, but I do like that they use kind of a pearly white plastic for that. So that's kind of cool. So uh, five out of 10 for accessories, definitely a bummer there. Okay, now for articulation, it should be pretty much what you would expect because we've seen most of this before. The head can look up, the head can look down, it can look side to side, it has a little bit of attitude, really no issues there. For the shoulder, on this side, you're very limited. You can't go too high there. You do get your full rotation, and that's pretty good. Butterfly joint works pretty well. This is one of the better butterfly joints that they've done, so that's good, and it's very nicely hidden on this release, too. Bicep swivel is underneath the armor plate, which works pretty well. You do have a double jointed elbow, which gets pretty good range given, given the thickness up here, so I like that. Then you have your swivel and your hinge, and that's all fine. Same thing, it's all on this side, only it works a little bit better because you're not encumbered by the robot parts. So we don't need to go through that. Ab crunch goes pretty far back. He does, does get a little bit pregnant, but it's not too bad, not noticeable on this guy. Forward is okay, waist twist is okay. Hips go out to the side almost all the way, so that's really nice. And you can bring the legs all the way forward, so that's pretty good. They don't go back too far at all. You do get a thigh swivel double jointed knee and a boot swivel and then as far as the ankles go with his maybe two big feet they go all the way back not very far forward but probably enough and you get a solid ankle rocker so nothing impressive here but definitely no real problems i'd say you should be just fine with this guy and so i'll give it a seven out of ten it's nothing great but it's just fine so that's good so final verdict on this release uh it's not like an incredible figure by any means but it is exactly what it's supposed to be with only a few tiny missteps so i think if you're in the market for this kind of thing you're gonna be pretty satisfied. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. They did a pretty good job. Oh, there's a little bit of a different color right here. I forgot to mention that. So yeah, I think I think it's pretty good. Eight out of 10, uh, and that's not just nostalgia because I did have the original figure, but I think they just happened to do a pretty solid job of recreating it in this version. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up anyway. What's it gonna hurt? 
And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.